What's up guys? My name is Alfredo Mancuso, as the channel has stated. And I think the last time I did a how-to was the summer of 97. So it's been a long time. My boy Nate Richter's here, which is very rare. And he's gonna be here a lot less now that he's gonna be working for the come up. Some news is gonna be unveiled later on, probably this week, I think maybe, but you guys are hearing it here first. Anyhow, for today's how-to, I'm gonna be showing you this trick that I'm actually gonna be learning just alongside with you guys. Let me back up a little bit because our light is dimming and it's like this weird sensor thing and it makes everything look crappy if you don't, there it goes, boom. Let there be light. Anyways, I'm gonna be learning this trick that I'm stealing from Brandon Began. And what it is, is like you do a 180 and you plant your front tire on something and you kind of like almost alley-oop out of it. That'll be the best explanation. What he calls it or what whoever invented it calls it, I really don't know and I really don't care. But I'm gonna try and learn it with you guys because I think I've messed around and done it once or twice, but I want to do them really good. So what better way than to explain a trick than to learn it with you guys. So I'm gonna be doing it on this bar. Since uh, Fredo is in uh, no nut and no drink November, might as well commemorate the bar that I used to take me out all the time. So what you do is you're gonna approach it. And if you look closely at this bar, it's at an angle already. So I don't have to alley you very much. You don't want to come at it like you're gonna do a full 180. You want to come at it like you're gonna do more like somewhere between a 90 and 150. You don't want to over rotate or under rotate, but that's going to help you do it. And then I think what you're going to do is kind of like manual into it a little bit, let your front tire hit. And then when it's hitting, you're going to use that momentum to yank back. And like I said, you're kind of alley-ooping, maybe turn the tire a little bit. And as you land, you're going to try and like use your backward momentum, pull out either back pedal or fake fakey with a free coaster, whatever you got going and turn around and make it look good like vegan would. So let's see how it goes first try. I'm gonna try and run this all one take, so uh, bear with me if it doesn't work. Anyways, here we go, a little alley-oop action. Oh, that kind of worked, but it wasn't that best one I could do. But basically, as you can see, I'm approaching at an angle. I'm kind of like alley-ooping, which means that before you 180, most people take a little carve. So if you're gonna 180 to the right, clockwise, you're gonna carve to the left a little bit, and then you spin. So that's kind of like a little baby alley-oop. But for this, you're gonna make it a little more dramatic. So you're gonna turn harder left. And as you're kind of 180, you're gonna travel almost like backwards. So let me do it again. Try to demonstrate and make, maybe get a better one. Man, I'm actually surprised that actually worked out first try because that never happens for me. Here we go. Oh! Okay, so there was my mistake. That time I manualed more into it and I hit it harder, which is cool because it springs you back. But you wanna be careful because if you do that too much, you're gonna kind of like spring back and instead of like yanking back, you might go forward and smack your face and ruin your bar tab. You don't want that. Bar tabs are terrible. Let me tell you, I used to front them for everybody. All right, here we go. One more alley-oop action. Damn it. See, if I was vegan, I could make that look a lot cooler, but because I'm not vegan, it doesn't look that tight. So what I'm trying to get is a little more alley-oop action, get a little more of the 120 degrees versus what I'm doing right now is probably like 90. And as soon as I land, I want to get a little momentum so I can like pedal backwards and make it look clean because that's what I'm going after, right? All right, what, what tries this, number four? Oh, the knees don't feel good like they used to. Nate, what do you think about that one? That was a nod. Thank you, sir. Okay, so for that one, I noticed that I, uh, I definitely did more of the bunny hop, let the front tire bunk, and as, as soon as it hits, I y really yank back, try and land, over rotate a little more, pedal backwards, and turn around. Besides that, that's pretty much it to this trick. I've seen Began do it on a lot of cool things. You can do it like during grinds, like a switch feeble to 180 on a pole and hit that, or you could find things where you can actually hit both your pegs. I could probably try that or die, so maybe not, but let me do one more for the road so Nate can get it from maybe the back angle so you can see it. And that should do it. That should be pretty fun and pretty straightforward and safe and all that other good stuff. So uh, here we go. No, I ruined it. That could have been a good streak. All right. But as you can see, sometimes it just means that you're not rotating enough or your body's just not in the right position. So let's get all that going right here. Right position and alley-oop and bam. No, that's the red wall. See, I was going to do it, but that would ruin our wall. And daddy don't play. Okay, so if you guys enjoy this how-to, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Give me a thumbs up, like it, do all that other stuff. And if you wanna see more Nate Richter content, head over to the Come Up BMX. He'll be vlogging from there. He'll be creating a lot of cool content. I think we're dropping a Trevi Day in the Life piece. I think there's a game of bike between poor homie Rich and Mark Hoffman. There's a bunch of content lined up. So 
Hope you guys go check that out. Follow Nate Richter as well on the gram. I love Nate Richter. Follow me, Alfred Mancuso. And check out on some shit. We got a lot of cool stuff. So uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. Bye. It's not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it.